7 News Today in New England. New device is giving people with hearing loss renewed hope. Yeah, so this works with uh, wireless technology and it's a snap, literally. 7's Kana Whitworth has the details from Boston Medical Center in today's Living Healthy. 35-year-old Mia Taven, a marketing consultant from Malden, developed hearing loss about seven years ago. What began was really, really slight hearing loss and this constant humming, buzzing, sometimes even a loud ringing tone. Over the next few years, she lost 80% of the hearing in her right ear and was desperate for help. At Boston Medical Center, they offered her a solution that was music to her ears. We talked about a new device that might be helpful to her. Uh, that would enable the sound coming from the right side of her head to be moved over into her left ear. It's called the sound bite. Well, here's how it works. A microphone gets fitted to the bad ear. That microphone then takes sound vibrations and transmits them wirelessly to a second device that fits on the patient's tooth. And that tooth is embedded in the skull bones, as teeth are. And uh, the, so the vibrations go up into the inner ear on the left side. So sounds that come from the right side of her head are moved over into the good hearing left ear. And the best part is there's no surgery involved. You just clip it on. A lot of patients who heard surgery and kind of ran away the first time, I've actually contacted and told them that we have this new non-surgical option um, for the same population and they've actually come back and been fit with the device. The best candidate for the soundbite is someone with near normal hearing in one of their ears. It sends sounds to your better hearing organ, so that's the organ that's going to respond. Um, so she is technically hearing everything in the better ear, um, but some people perceive that they're actually hearing out of that dead ear. Mia has had the device for a few months now and couldn't be happier. It's so worth it. I, I feel like I've become such a cheerleader for this device. Because the soundbite device is considered a prosthetic and not a hearing aid, it's often covered by insurance plans. In the newsroom, Kana Whitworth, 7 News, today in New England.